Okay, here we go. Um, we had a hardware store adventure this week. I went in and looked through uh, sledgehammer handles, and the same applies to pick handles and axe handles. When you go look for hammer handles nowadays, some of your stores have fiberglass handles. We don't like them. You uh, swing a fiberglass handle and hit things with it and it, it jars your joints, hurts your elbows. We'll, so we prefer the wooden handles. When you, are you able to see that? Does that focus? Okay, when you look at hammer handles, look for your growth ring orientation. You want those growth rings going front to back. You'll, uh, you'll, find, you'll find random growth ring patterns on these. Uh, for the most strength when you're swinging that hammer or axe, you want those growth rings running front to back. Uh, I found one in the stack there at, uh, it was at a Rural King store. I found one in there where they were going exactly the wrong way, going crossways. And that is likely to break. It's like, like a baseball bat. When, you, uh, when you're swinging your baseball bat, you you got to have that trademark up. And when you have the trademark up, you hit the ball in line with those growth rings. And that bat won't break. Same goes with a hammer. So first thing to do when you look at these is look at your growth rings and make sure they're all front to back. So here's another one. Front to back every time. And if they if they are at an angle, look for a better one. You know, an angle and ang ones that angle is better than ones that goes directly across, but ideally they'll be front to back. When they're front to back, you'll have a nice pattern of growth rings on the handle. You can see they make a nice V up here. You can see a nice V on the side of the handle. The side of the handle should have these nice V's in it. Okay, the next thing to look for on your hammer handles is you want that grain to run true from one end to the other. If that grain runs true, that, that's a good strong handle. You'll find some of your hammer handles where the grain runs off, you know, runs out, so it angles out. Those are likely to break. And then the other fault you will find on hammer handles is the tree will have had a limb off to one side and that, that will come up and the grain will go around and then come back in. And that gives you kind of a double whammy. You know, you've got, got it coming out one side, you know, coming out and then back in. So look for nice straight grain. You want these nice V's going down the sides of the handles. You want your grain to run through all the way from one end to the other. Here, let's look at this one. Yeah, you see your see your V's running down the side. And you want you want straight grain running all the way through. Now this one's got got a little bit of a little thing right here. You can see that grain kind of kicks over and back. But it's mostly true. The ones on this side are true. You know, I picked out three of the best ones. You'll find a lot of them that have problems. This has just a little bit of that curve in it. Not bad. This is a pretty good handle. But uh, anyway, what we do with these, we uh, well, of course, we have sledgehammers. So I've got a sledgehammer right now that needs a handle, and I'll put my best one in in the ha hammer head that needs a handle. These others, what I do is I uh, I work these down and uh, make tomahawk handles for uh, Biltmore sticks out of these. And you can thump a tree if you have a good straight stick made out of hickory. You can thump trees with your Biltmore stick for years, and it'll never break. But uh, I have had a bad one where it had the grain running out, and you know, smack a tree, and it'll get a crack in it. And then you, you know, then you've got to glue it back together, and it never holds. So, anyway, that's your little forestry lesson for today. Catch you all later. Thank you very much.